Like eagles soar in the sky, we fly the paths of the trailblazer. Welcome to the Heart of Gold Awards in lovely Sarasota, Florida. West Coast, the jewel of the Gulf Coast. Paradise on the Gulf of Mexico. Heart of Gold. Authentic, wise, extraordinary. Trailblazer, a person who makes, does, or discovers something new and makes it acceptable or popular. Reverend Dr. Thomas Pfaff, remarkable sage, instrument of divine unity, served as chaplain of Goodwill, Minnesota for 15 years and pastor at four United Methodist churches. He knows the ways and the power of the Episcopacy. His heartbeat for the community inspires and demands involvement and improvement. He has a vision of hope for the homeless and forgotten. He has action, not announcements, tools, not talk. Before becoming a minister, Chaplain Tom worked for Avon Cosmetics as their director of quality control, and then with his own company, developing oil and gas properties throughout the Midwest. He now has a concierge for essential services company, serving residents, churches, and small businesses. Affectionately referred to as Dr. T, he ministers as founder and mother hen of the Sarasota Ministerial Association. He has the tendency of Abraham, the patience of Job, and care of John in giving attention to loving your neighbor as you love yourself. He is the ever-extending arm to the suffering. He weaves ropes of hope and unity among various religious bodies throughout the communities, bringing leaders to the table of peace. Chaplain Tom's wife, Nicolette Owen Pfaff, a retired ordained minister of the United Methodist Church, currently a top-listing realtor with Blakely & Associates Realty. Their Beta Phi Kappa daughter, Rebecca Joy Pfaff, 2013 alumna, University of Florida, and the Punta Gorda Airport Manager for Enterprise Rent-A-Car. There we were, my wife Nicolette and I, in front of the classroom on Parents' Night at Ashton Elementary School. And the teacher had some of her gifted children, like her students, like my daughter Rebecca, in front. And she would ask them questions, family-type questions. And she said, Rebecca, tell us all, all the parents are there, tell us all, what does your dad worry about? Tell us what your father worries about. Well, I uh, thought to myself, teacher, I'm a little worried about your question. But Rebecca answered immediately. She said, my dad is concerned about three things. He's concerned about whether or not he'll be fired. He's concerned about whether or not he has enough money. And he's concerned whether or not the temperature of the swimming pool is warm enough for him to swim. Well, I have good news for you. We no longer have a pool, and so I have conquered that fear. But I believe that, and I know that I, and I think that most of us, oftentimes do what we do what we do because of what the Apostle Paul calls things of the flesh. Oh, how I, I love to, to be appreciated, to be important, to be in charge. But then there are moments my family will tell you sometimes those are fleeting moments <laughs> when I believe and I know that I know that I know that there is a God and that God loves me. And that, for me, changes everything. Yes, he weaves ropes of hope. Is so much more than we see, but because of your light shining, it manifests in our lives. 
Dr. Thomas Pfaff, the Reverend Dr. Thomas Pfaff. Preacher, authentic, wise, extraordinary, a remarkable sage, an instrument of divine unity. We see you, we honor you, and bring you to our highest place of honor. Dr. T. <laughs> Well, Bishop, I'm up here because of the people and their organizations who are seated out there. The Right Reverend Don Roberts and his wife Peggy, who kept me out of trouble some of the time at Goodwill Industries for some 15 years and also at the table, representing the Sarasota Ministerial Association, the pastors Lynette and Jim McClellan. <laughs> Lynette serves on the ministerial board, as does Pastor Henry Porter, who is uh, potentially maybe still somewhere out there, Brother Henry. And Representing our Jewish Federation, its executive director and his wife, Bryna, Howard Tevlovitz, who has taken to Israel some 40 of our leaders, our ministers, our pastors, our priests, our rabbis. Uh, included in that uh, was Henry, Pastor Henry. Uh, can I hear a shalom? And then, and then my family, represented by my wife's sister, Charlotte. Thanks so much for being here, Charlotte. My Phi Beta Kappa daughter, Rebecca Joy. Can I hear a Go Gators? Maybe. <laughs> and then you, the friends and family of the West Coast Center. You know, the very first time the Ministerial Association met in 2001. We met at the West Coast Center under the bishop's invitation. Can I hear a hallelujah? hallelujah? And the second recipient of our highest award, the Good and Faithful Servant Award, was your own Bishop Porter. Can I hear a praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. You're all waiting to say amen, I think. Thank you, our Father, the Christ, and Holy Spirit. Thank you, West Coast. Thank you, Bishop. <laughs>